Hi, nieces and nephews, and welcome back to Auntie Nell's Kitchen. And to my new subscribers, I welcome, welcome, welcome you. But I thank all of you for your love and support to my channel. I really thank all 997 of you. I am so grateful for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. I love my channel and I love my subscribers and I love cooking. Today we are going to be making fried collard greens, okay? Yes, fried collard greens. Um, so we're going to do a flip and a swip and I'm going to show you everything that you need at home and what you can do to make these delicious greens so you can enjoy them uh, with you, your family, your friends, and like Auntie say, keep it to yourself, okay? All right, so I'll be right back. Okay, you, we are going to use one teaspoon of minced garlic, three tablespoons of butter, and what I'm going to add to that, I'm using olive oil. I'm going to use some olive oil in here. Yes, a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going to get that fire going, but not high because you know olive oil doesn't, you know, you want to be careful with that olive oil. I'm going to, this is one half of a um, medium onion sliced. So I'm going to throw that in there. One piece of goodness left. Now this is two, I'm sorry. This is, how many did I do with that one? This, one two. this is three cups of collard greens. And when you deal with your collards, you need to wash your collards three or four times, okay? And I wash my collards in some warm water with some baking soda, but I let it sit a little bit because you know you want to make sure your greens are really, really clean and tender now i'm telling you guys you better listen to it now you go to somebody's house and you picking some greens out of that pot and that water is green don't you eat that those greens have not been cleaned i'm telling you you better not do that you better listen to your auntie okay so we're gonna get these nice beautiful veggies get this onion and you'll know your garlic is re is ready and um you rinse your greens off, you know. You, uh, I took a paper towel and ran through them to get up the SS liquid. This was a huge, a bunch of them, but I had put some in the crock pot last night. And those, they are taken care of. They're already done, cooled off. And, these will be for dinner today. Those those cooked ones are going into the freezer. Okay, so I'm going to leave this alone. And I'll be right back once they start becoming a little translucent. I'll be right back. Okay, you see the onions are now translucent. Okay, you can smell that garlic. So I'm going to get these. It's not a whole lot of greens in here. So this, like I said, you know, so I'm going to get that in there. And I'm going to add a little bit of a pink halloumi salt. Some black pepper. Now, you're going to add to this measurement one eighth teaspoon of baking soda. That's going to break down the leaves. They were soft. Now, if you were doubling this recipe, tripling it, you would add a fourth teaspoon of baking soda. And so you're gonna, I'm gonna stir this around. And I'm gonna leave it alone for a bit. And what I also, I like to, I'm gonna add me a little thyme in here, okay? I just added a half a teaspoon of thyme. That's all I needed in here. Now, you know, you can add you some crushed red pepper in here. You want some spice. Or you can add you some um, 
right here is really, really spicy. I only use this for Jamaican cooking. The Scotch bonnet pepper sauce, if you wanted some real heat to it. You want that real heat to it. Okay, so I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it be. Let it be. All right, be right back, family. Now, if you're not gonna be using a non-stick pan, this is non-stick, you do have to, you're gonna have to stir to keep your greens from sticking. This is a non-stick, um, so you, so I don't have that issue about something sticking. So, but if you're going to be using a uh, non-stick, you may make, make sure that you are constantly stirring, all right? See, they're all done. They look delicious, don't they? See, I told you, just a small amount. I wanted to show you guys how you can cook these fried collard greens. Now, if you're going to be using a whole bunch, make sure, you know, you, you double your rest, you double your ingredients. And I'm telling you, add that thyme. You will see. Adding that thyme. And the greens are nice and tender. That baking soda. And washing, using that washing technique with that baking soda as well. And I'm going to scoop these in this little bowl here. Because it's just a little. Now, if you use a whole bunch, you buy a green, a bunch of greens, like one big whole bunch, you're going to, you know, you are going to need, you know, you use a huge pan, of course, you are going to need, a, you know, a half a teaspoon of baking soda to cook down. And you're going to need, you know, you're going to double your ingredients. But that baking soda, here we go, family, look at that. Those are fried collard greens. Thank you guys for watching my video on how do you make your fried collard greens. It's a great side dish for, you know, any time. It doesn't have to be around the holiday season. It's a great alternative to having your standard greens cooked, you know, in the crock pot or on the stove. You know, it's a different take on your collard greens, okay? They're really good. They're soft. They're not tough. They are tender, okay? So until the next upload... Tight hugs and kisses to each of you. Mm, love you guys. But I will see you soon, okay? Bye.